Okay, here we are in section 1.1, and we're supposed to find the prime factorization and the least common multiple. So we've got two things we've got to do on each one of these. So here we're going to take the prime factorization of 3, well, that's just 3, and 8. We break it down, that's 2 times 4, 2 times 2, so we get 2 times 2 times 2. Now, there's the prime factorization of those two numbers. Now we've got to find the least common multiple, so the number that goes, both of them go into. And we've got to have a 3, so 3 will go into it, good. And we've got to have 2 times 2 times 2. And timesing that all out gives us 24. There we go, so that's the least common multiple. Let's try the next one. 20 breaks down into 2 times 10, 2 times 5, so we get 2 times 2 times 5 and 75 breaks down into 3 times 25 and 5 times 5. So we get 3 times 5 times 5. So the least common multiple now will give us 2 times 2 times 5 and we need a 3 and we also need it looks like one more 5. So we get 2 times 2 times 5 was 20 times 15, that should equal 300. And you can try that, you can list out all of the multiples of 20, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 120, and so on, and 75, 75, 150, so on, and that's where they will first meet that list. Hey, number 15, 5, that one doesn't break down, so there's, a prime fa there's the prime factorization of 5, and there's the prime factorization of 7, least common multiple, we need a 5, and we need 7 to go into it, so that's 35. And 16, so we break down, and that's 6 times 2, and 2 times 3, so we get 2 times 2 times 3. And if we do 120, that's 2 times 60, 2 times 30, 2 times 15, 3 times 5, so we get 2, 2, 2, 3, 5. So now, creating a number that has all of that in there, we've got to have a 2, 2, and a 3, because we've got so many. Let's change a color here, and we've got to have a third 2. So we've got three 2's. The three's already there, and the 5. So we now have 2 times 2 times 2 times 3 times 5. Hey, wait a minute. That's exactly that guy. 120. Oh, yeah, look. 12 goes into 120. 12 times 10 is 120. So that is the least common multiple of both of those. There we go.